and the rest of this video is leaving Main Street going across the Robert Edge Parkway connector to Highway 31. But I'm also going to be showing you a sports complex over here that was just recently built. This is a new bridge going over the Intercoastal Waterway. It's another connector from Highway 31 that was not originally here when they built 31. This is the Intercoastal Waterway again we're going over. We'll go just past Highway 31 and turn into the North Motor Beach Sports Complex. They have a variety of things over here. There's going to be, has been, and going to be uh, national and international sports tournaments, Little League Baseball, Soccer. Uh, they've got a huge lake there that uh, they do allow fishing, but it must be catch and release. Uh, you are still required to have a Fishing permit, I do believe. South Carolina freshwater fishing license. And here's where the connector is to get on north and south. 31 northbound will simply take you again up to highway number nine it does give you a little bit of a way to cut around some of the traffic in north myrtle beach because there's a lot more lights between here and number nine going up highway 17 This is where you can get off coming in on number nine if you want to get off here at North Myrtle Beach Main Street. This is the intersection where you will be getting off. And this is the light where you will be turning to go to the North Myrtle Beach Sports Complex. They have other programs here. They have zip lines and um, it's like platforms in the trees. It's a wooden walkway that's suspended on cables. And you go across those and you also go on zip lines through the woods as well as across the lake itself. Um, there's dog parks in here. There's two different dog parks to play with and exercise your dogs if you come here with them on vacation. They're uh, fenced in. Uh, they're secure because they're double gated. Going into the entrance where you've got to go through two sets of gates in order to gain access. So it's not easy for somebody accidentally let your dog out. There's a lot of open area around it. There's a walking trails that you can go around the park, around the lake itself. Uh, again, a variety of sports activities, baseball fields, soccer fields. I believe they're also going to start doing uh, some uh, outdoor concerts here as well. They do a lot of those up at Main Street at the Horseshoe where we were just at. But I believe they're also going to start doing some out here at this 
court, park and sports complex is what it is. They've got several play areas here. My wife and I came walking through here earlier in the year. There's uh, some educational learning centers for younger kids with exercise facilities and swings and playground activity things for them. We have jetpack adventures here now. There's an amphitheater, baseball playground, the dog park. Uh, like I said, it's a variety of different things you can do here and different activities. Uh, we're not going to go all through it today. We're just going to share you a brief overview of it driving out here on the main entranceway. playground shelter that I was referring to in one of the trail areas. We're just going to go in here and make a quick U-turn just to show you what this does look like a glimpse. Got the kids out here playing. It was pretty much empty when my wife and I were here. Like I said, it was earlier in the year on a kind of a drizzly rainy day in cooler weather. So they just started opening that up and we were just walking around trying to take a look at it. We've been seeing it under construction for a while. And back out. And that's going to be the end of today's video. Um, we just, again, we're trying to move to different areas and still say relatively in an organized fashion. We've started at the north end of North Myrtle Beach at Cherry Grove. And now we've come down to Main Street, showing you that area. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure where we're gonna be going next. Uh, like I said in one of the other videos, life happens. It's been quite a few days since I've been able to do this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, I was Hoping to be able to make some every day, but other things do take precedence. But um, I hope you all are enjoying this series of videos, trying to show you what the, the Grand Strand area is like a little piece at a time. Um, I can't cover it all, obviously, in one day. I'm trying to do a little bit more thorough, uh, in-depth showing of areas than what you'll see on what I've seen so far on YouTube, for instance, on the Travel Channel and so forth, they concentrate as much on Myrtle Beach as anything, and most most places do. And North Myrtle Beach itself, it's smaller, and like I said, you see Main Street, there's not much to it on the boulevard compared to Myrtle Beach, but it still does have a draw to a certain number of people that like this area. So, I hope it helps give you all some information helps you when you're planning trying to figure out how to get around here again if you've never been here before I'm hoping to show you the main routes where it's the best way to get around and the shortcuts when you have traffic back up and so forth but uh, y'all have a great day evening night and we will see you on the next version of Blaine's Beach Guide